prayer. Prayer is something that's established by God, and which uh, means for us to ask for His supernatural help. I'm asking for God's supernatural help. We need prayer today. You know, 1 Thessalonians 5.17 tells you to pray without season. Um, Psalms 55.17 says evening and morning. Uh, we are we are to pray you know it has telling you to pray even in the morning today we are divided we are divided by color we're divided by just politics we're divided by a lot of things that we should not be divided about you know to me it's pretty plain and simple the Bible tells you what we need to be doing it tells you the right thing to do. And one of the main things we need to do is get on our knees and we need to pray to God. And we need to ask God for his guidance. We need to ask God for his supernatural help. You know, we today have, uh, you know, we get side, so sidetracked. Video games. Um, making plans with friends and, and going all the places. Prayer is a tool like this in which to help shape and mold us to the people we need to be. Think about that. It is a tool to help shape us, for God to shape us, for the person we need to be. And I want to be a person of God. I pray in the morning. I pray at night before I go to bed. And... You know, I pray in between. We are to pray without ceasing. You know, we... People are worried about COVID. Well, I'm going to tell you what. My guy's bigger than any little virus. You know? And, you know, God... When Jesus Christ was here on earth, He healed the sick, the lame. He brought people back from the dead. All this well documented. And you know, even today, you hear about miracles. Miracles still happen. So why are we worried? You know, the Bible tells you, what is it, 365 times? Don't fear. Maybe we need to listen. So I think that in church today, and I think each and every one of us, we need to pray. We need to pray for a revival. We need to pray for a change of thoughts. You know, everybody wants to be, or well, everybody is, not whether you want to be or not, but everybody is divided. Prayer is one thing that will bring us all together. So I'm asking for everybody to pray. And pray without ceasing.